Okay, so here's a free product. It's fully free, and it's always going to be free. It's Vozik MIDI, and it's a MIDI tool. And let me resize it, make it as large as it can be. And you just add as an instrument, and I have added here Vozik Station. So I have Vozik Station here. And on the input of, of Vozik Station, I just selected the Vozik MIDI instead. So here is Vozik MIDI selected. And if I go here to Vozik MIDI, go settings and transpose 24. It's transposing 24 notes. So let's go from the start now. We have Vozik MIDI here already routed to my Vozik station. And I have three keyboards here. The first one is input. The last one is output. And since I have added a transpose of 24 notes, it's adding two octaves to my output. So it just adds 24 notes, that's two octaves, to the output. So this is just a fixed setting. I, have, I can also change the MIDI channel and I can also set the hold notes. Let's say to auto hold note. This is a very handy one. I'm going to change the milliseconds, 500 milliseconds. And if I press uh, notes very quickly, it's going to add to, to, the, to the hold until I press another note. Then the, if the if the note time is higher than 500 milliseconds, it's just going to reset the notes and start adding again. And we'll only release the notes if I press panic. But now the panic has disabled my, my whole notes. So, the, the really fun thing here is this middle keyboard here. The middle keyboard, you can see that there's some white, white notes and yellow notes. The yellow notes is everything that's going to be played and passed to the output. So if I go low, it's not going to play because in this low section, I can add some key uh, switches, key transpose, MIDI channel changes, and other things. So let's say here on C1, I add a transpose, and I'm going to transpose 12 notes up. That's, a f that's going to ask me if I want to be an absolute value, so yes. So it's going to transpose two 12 notes. Every time I, I press C, it's going to set my transpose to 12. And if I go to D here and add a transpose 12, but this time I set it's not a non-absolute value. You can see here it's transpose to 12 and transpose transpose by 12. So every time I press D, it's going to move my transpose up. I press C, go back to 12. I can even hold the notes and it's going to change the notes. As you can see, I'm just holding a, a chart and pressing C and D, C and D, C and D. So this is very handy. And of course, I can do an octave below. I just put a neg negative value. So instead of 12, I put minus 12. It's going to go down instead of up. I also have the option of uh, panic. So if I'm using the hold notes option, and I press, so this is C, D, E. D, E is going to select. It's going to select notes to be hold until you press panic. Or if I set a key to panic, let's say I set a C sharp to panic. So now C sharp is panic. 
all notes off. So let's trigger the hold. There you go. Very simple to use. The I also talk about auto holds. The latch is just like the hold, but w when we press the same key, if it's being hold, it's going to release that key. Just uh, on and off as you press the keys. Uh, reset transpose, and then you also have the key switch on and off. So let me clear my selection here. Clear all, okay. Let's say I have three instances of MIDI, Vosky MIDI running. So what I do is just use one. One is going to be on, one is going to be off, and another going to be off. So as I press D and E, it switches the output off. If I press C, it enables again. So if, if I do this uh, key switch in the three keys on the other instance, but for each instance I put a different key for on and the others for off, I can just use C, D, E to switch from one uh, MIDI output to another. So that's a very handy feature. We also have the inline help, which explains everything. Uh, it's a bit big and long, but uh, it should be okay to, to read. Uh, the VUZIC logo here shows the version. To change the yellow notes, you just use right click. So just right click where you want to start your the split between the notes that are going to be sections and actions and the notes they are going to just play regularly so that's it it's a very simple application but very handy and you can add multiple instances and do some very crazy things if you want so that's it thanks for watching